Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I am here to do my album review of Monster X's latest album, The Connect. So I've been doing more of these album reviews and I think I'm going to continue with them even though they're not hugely watched. The interaction on these videos are much higher than some of the other ones so I'm going to definitely keep them up and in this I'm going to pretty much deal out all my thoughts on this latest album, The Connect. And that could be good, that can be bad, and we're just gonna see how it turns out. So Monster X The Connect is their latest mini album, and it features a total of seven new tracks this time, which is great for a mini album. And the main title track is Jealousy, which is the first track. And let's just go ahead and jump right into these tracks. Track number one is Jealousy, which as I already mentioned, is the title track, and I love Jealousy. Jealousy is a very upbeat song. It's a little bit harder, um, more in line with Monster X's usual title track sound, but it is also softer than most of their title tracks. There is a smooth element to it. Um, whenever I listen to it, it reminds me of like a 90s Janet Jackson song. Um, I can't put my finger on it and I know that there's a sound within it, when, especially in the chorus when they're doing the Jealousy part, where it sounds very much like it very much has a Janet Jackson feel, but I've been too lazy to actually look up and figure out what song it was, but it's definitely a Janet Jackson feel and I'm digging it. I dig it a lot. Um, it sounds really great and it's really, like I said, it's upbeat and it's one of those songs that instantly stuck with me from the moment I listened to it. And even now still, the more I listen to it, the more that I love it. It's just, it's just a fantastic song and they did really, really well with it by keeping it upbeat but also managing to turn it down just a little bit and making it a little bit smoother rather than hard hitting. The next track up is Destroyer. And Destroyer is one of those tracks where on first listen I was just like, yeah, I like it. Then it hit about mid song when there was a transition point in the song and I kind of checked out. I was just like, oh, I did not see that coming. Oh no, 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 no. This transition here, I do not like it. But the more that I listened to the song, the softer that transition ended up feeling. Um, when I first listened to it, it felt very, very stark. But as I listened to it more and more, it did seem to smooth out. It could just be time listening to it over and over. It could just be one of those songs, but Destroyer has grown on me and I still, and I really enjoy it now. Um, in fact, the other day I was listening to it and as I was listening to it, I realized that oh wow, I'm not actually turned off by this song anymore and I actually enjoy it. Is it my favorite track on the album? No, but now I listen to it and I like it without wanting to turn it off. The next track on the album is Fallen and Fallen, similar to Destroyer, has a major tone shift within the song. It transitions styles and the way that the song is being composed and I'm not a fan of it. Unlike Destroyer, I still don't like that transi transition, even now after I've listened to it a bunch. Um, the song starts out so well for me. The song is actually one of those ones where I was just like, similar to Destroy, I'm just like, I'm all in on this song. This song is amazing, you cannot go wrong. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> um, but there's just something about that transition in the song that transitions, it's more to like an EDM feel and it transitions from this like hip hop kind of vibe to this EDM feel. And those two genres are often paired together, they often work, but it's something about the beats that are being used in each that is just not working for me. And no matter how much I listen to it, I still do not like that transition. And it, it, it just does not, doesn't do it for me. <laughs> um, I wish that it did, but I just, when I hear Fallen come on, I will listen to the opening part, the part that I like, and then I just shut it off because I don't like the rest of it. Track number four is Crazy In Love, and this is kind of like Monster X throwing in their slowness. Um, a lot of times Monster X adds in like an R&B track. This quite isn't that. This is more of a mid-tempo song. And I'm not in love with the song, but unlike 
Destroyer and Fallen, I never had an instant dislike of this song. Um, I actually, I was just kind of neutral on it. Um, it was a, it was nice to listen to, but it also didn't actually strike me in a way that it stuck in my head like some songs do. Crazy in Love is very mid-tempo. It actually starts out like a slow song. You could almost think that it's going to be a ballad, but then it picks up in the chorus, which actually makes for a really interesting transition, makes it really interesting to listen to and fun. Um, it takes it from being that slow ballad, moody kind of feel to making, giving it more of like a vibe, a chill vibe kind of thing kind of deal, which I really, really enjoy and I like listening to Crazy in Love. Like I said, I just wish it popped it a little bit more where it's stuck in my head, but it's a solid song. Next up is Lost in the Dream. Listen, y'all. Okay. So before I even listened to this song, I was just like, okay, I'm hearing good things about this one. This one might be the track. And while it is not the track, this is one of those tracks that sticks with you. This is one of those ones that I was just like, okay, I'm down. Did it live up to the hype that I thought it might have lived up to? No, it didn't. Um, it is another song that is more mid-tempo, but it has these interesting transitions and progressions within the pre-chorus and chorus that make the song really interesting, and that's the part that I really love about it. But what's best about Lost in the Dream is just the delivery. There's something about the way, I particularly like IM's parts, and I know he throws in some English, a little bit more English than usual that he throws in, but I don't know, it, it just worked really, really well within the song. And overall, it's just a really enjoyable song to listen to. It is one of the ones that stuck out to me that I ended up liking the most on the album, um, even from the very beginning. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a solid, a very, very solid song. Track number six is If Only, and If Only is very poppy. When I first listened to the album, because of the mid-tempo, not very R&B tracks um, that were on the album, I thought that for A Change Monster X was not gonna throw in their usual kind of R&B track, and that was confirmed once I listened to If Only. If Only is the slow, is a slower, that's, If Only is kind of more the moody song that you would expect, but it is, rather than being more R&B, like I'm used to from Monsta X, it is very more poppy, more traditional K-pop sound. It reminded me of one of the Pyeongchang songs that I heard, and I didn't like, I personally am not a big fan of that traditional K-pop sound that is purely just the sound. I tend to prefer the music that leans heavily into the genre that the group is going for, whether that is rock, EDM, hip hop, R&B, whatever that may be, I tend to prefer those songs than the ones that are traditionally more straight pop, pop music. I'm not as big into that. I'm into K-pop, which is popular music that can hit all of those genres I mentioned before versus pop, the sound, the genre, the that. I'm not a big fan of pop in that sense. Um, so this song, if only being more of a pop song, really did not work for me. It's, it's just one of those songs when I hear it, I'm instantly turned off. Whereas like with, I mentioned before with Fallen, I'm not really that into the transition of the song. Um, but I still like the beginning. I like certain parts of that song. I just don't like If Only. Um, and I think it's the first time that I've really straight out disliked a Monster X song completely, 100% just didn't like it. If Only is like that first track for me. And every group has those tracks. Every group has the track <laughs> or, or a few tracks. You never know, no matter how much you love a group, there's always gonna be songs that you don't 100% love. And for me, if only is the track that will always be on my skin. And finally, we have Special. Special hit me. And maybe it was after disliking If Only and trying to push through that song, but I don't think so because I've listened to just Special on its own and Special is that joint for me. Special is the music I love. It is 
a well delivered song. It's hard, it's fast, it's really upbeat, and I just, when I listen to special, I want to dance. When I listen to special, I feel it in my bones. It like resonates all the way in. Special is that song. And it's just really enjoyable to hear a song like special because special is what I think is a wonderful representative of Monster X music. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of things that encompass what Monster X does and what they're capable and the different sounds they promote and go for. But m special is that song where it just sounds and feels like Monster X. It doesn't feel like any generic hip hop song. It doesn't feel like any generic hard song. It feels like a song that is Monster X. Like if another group were to try to do this song, I would say this sounds more like a Monster X song. It is one of those songs and it's really great to see them still putting out songs that are just like this because this is what I think of when I think of Monster X. And like I said, obviously there are a whole bunch of other things that Monster X do. Jealousy, Destroyer, all those different things that Monster X does and does well but special is like something that reminds me of Monster X. If you get what I'm saying, let me know in the comments. Um, but I just wanted to give you my overall thoughts on this album. This album, unlike The Code, which was ended up being my favorite album of last year, The Connect isn't quite there. there like I said, there were a couple of songs on there that I just don't like, and then there were a few songs that were lukewarm. When I first came out of listening to the whole first album, my initial thoughts were I adore Jealousy, I adore Special, and there was like one or two others that I liked. And then knowing that there were instantly songs that I knew I did not like and I was not going to like, and I was right that as I listened to the album more and more on repeat that I still didn't like certain songs. And while there were songs like Destroyer, which went from a negative to an actual positive for me. A couple of other them just didn't do it. <laughs> um, and that's sad, so it's it, it happens though. And like I said, there's always gonna be songs that you don't necessarily always love, even from groups that you adore. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the album in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. I'm out. <laughs> Mama, 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 mama.